Extra Minutes. We travelled to a really, really remote part of India, a little village called Baktwang, and we the only place for us to stay was in the guest house of the people we were interviewing, which was the Ziona family. And the guest house sounds delightful, doesn't it? Well, it ended up being a dormitory uh, for me and my team, and the bathroom was, you know, it was a drop toilet and uh, buckets of cold water. I think I got one, one, one wash in hot water, um, but basically having to stand over a drop toilet while you're washing yourself, um, yeah, you know. So forgive me for looking so bad in the story. Um, <laughs> not for public consumption. Oh, yes it is. You could use a little bit of D-shine okay, on your Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> this may be an indelicate question, but how do you choose who to spend the night with? Oh, I didn't really want to know how it all works too too closely. The chat we got was that basically that in this really roundabout way that if there's a pillow missing, then it's your turn with the big man. <laughs> Partway through the interviews, Ziona was very interested in who was from Australia all of a sudden, and um, and so I, I, you know, raised this this the fact that in Australia polygamy is outlawed, and uh, he kindly invited me back <laughs> um, to try it there. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> they say you should come more to Mizoram if the polygamy <laughs> is restricted in your country. You should come here. <laughs> It's not really my thing. <laughs> uh, how that was translated, I'm not sure, because we ended on fine terms, but, <laughs> um, you know, I think he was just being cheeky. I don't know.